Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. The net below can be folded to make a Roman numerical dice. Which one of the following dice could have been made as a result of folding the net? This comes from the Oxford Thinking Skills Assessment Paper, and it's one of the hardest admissions questions I've ever seen. I didn't solve this question myself, and I wonder how many applicants did solve it. Now, if you could cut out a piece of paper and fold it, that would make the problem a lot easier. But I'm assuming you have to work it out in two dimensions and just think about the problem visually. So let's see how we can try to work out the problem logically. We have a net which gets folded into a Roman numerical dice. Now let's look at the answer choices. All of them have the face on the right being the number one. Now this is either the number one straight up as it's shown, or it could be rotated 180 degrees because of symmetry of the Roman numeral one. So let's try to analyze some of the answer choices. Let's consider which ones are showing the face two. This is answer choices B and C. Now, if we have one on the right and we fold the face two to the front, but in that case, we are going to have the bottom face be number four. So it can't be like answer choice B, where four is shown on the top face. We eliminate answer choice B. But what about C? Well, if we keep folding and then we fold the face three to the top, the only question is what's the orientation of three? If you work it out, you're actually going to have the three be parallel to one. So answer choice C is wrong. Now let's consider answer choices A and E, which show the numbers one, three, and five. So three goes on the top. It's in the same orientation as one. Now the face five, when it gets folded, the bottom of five will always align with the bottom of three. Therefore, we can eliminate answer choice E, which shows three and five in different orientations. Now, if we have three on the top, we need to have the number two on the front. So we can't have five on the front. Answer choice A is wrong. So that leaves us with answer choice D. If we knew one of the answer choices had to be correct, this would be true by the process of elimination. Now, in order to get this dice, we need to rotate the entire net by 180 degrees. Then if you work out the way the faces are folded, you exactly get the dice that's shown in choice D. So D is the correct answer. Just to illustrate the answer a bit more clearly, let's actually fold this net to make a Roman numerical dice. We'll first fold it up and we see we have one on the right and two on the front. We see we have three on the top, so that eliminates answer choice B, and the orientation of three is different, so we eliminate answer choice C. Now, we rotate the dice so that we're showing the numbers one, three, and five. We can see that choices E and A are both wrong. So finally, we rotate the dice one more time and we see we do in fact have answer choice D. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.